Good morning kids, folks on YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I go about irrigating my gardens, my raised bed in particular in this case. Uh, I use a method called T-tape irrigation. It's low pressure, low volume watering. I'll explain it to you a little more as, as we take a look at it. Alright, here we go. Okay, T-tape irrigation uh, starts out here. Yeah, I need to tighten these things up. There's a little drip going. But uh, your water source comes into this filter. You don't absolutely have to use a filter, but I do. Okay. Now, from the filter, the water goes to a pressure regulator. In this case, it's uh, 10 psi. It's imperative that you cut the water pressure down in this type of system as to not rupture the T-tape. Okay, from the uh, pressure reducer, a simple header, it's uh, one inch flexible tubing. Okay. Now, each one of the lines that come off of this has a valve. Simple, uh, see if I can get this where it's not shaded so bad. Uh, simple on-off valve. Off, the valve's across the tube. On, it's going with the tube. Okay, now this tubing, it's a flat, flexible tubing. And in my particular tubing, there is a drip emitter built into the tubing every eight inches. Okay. Here you can see one dripping. Just very low pressure. This tubing here is rated to deliver uh, 0.65 of a gallon for every 100 foot of tubing at 10 psi. In this bed, I'm running three lines uh, for about 40 feet. So 120 foot of tubing I'm putting out what one and a quarter gallons of water a minute. Okay, now what makes this work well is like all drip irrigation is you're applying a small amount of water in an area and it's allowing it to soak in. And you see this old sandy soil, it's mixed with some peat and stuff here. The water's pulling, it's puddling up like it's on wax basically. It takes a long time for this soil here in southern Utah to absorb water. So once you have that water absorbed, you really don't want to lose it. Therefore, I do what's called plastic culture. You can see several videos on YouTube. You just I did just search plastic culture and uh, you'll find it. So what's going to happen here is I have some special agricultural plastic I'll be putting on this bed. It's a, a black plastic, it's embossed, it makes it so not only will it stretch but it's extremely durable and it's only one mil thick. This stuff works wonders. This plastic is going to serve to retain the moisture that I put in here. Now I experimented with this in South Texas, extremely hot, and uh, I had 100 foot long rows of tomatoes, and each one of those rows of tomatoes received 90 gallons of water a week. The plastic retained the moisture and did a super job. Right, my neighbors growing tomatoes were having to water theirs every day. It's a, a testament to the value of the permaculture idea. Um, as I get the plastic on here, I'll uh, make some further videos to show how it works. But it's stretched hot so it stays, you know, and it's firm to the surface of the soil. You poke a hole through the plastic where you want your plants to be. Now, not only does this retain moisture in the soil, giving you more, even moisture control, 
if you get torrential downpours it prevents all that water from flooding your beds and uh, causing root damage you know your plants get down in the water well anyway this is just simple t-tape irrigation normally these tubes are run under the surface uh, three or four inches below the surface but since I'm putting a plastic on it and I don't want to puncture tubes when I poke my holes I'll leave it on the surface and running as I make my plantings. Alright, once again, thanks for watching.